So I actually created a Premiere Pro plugin that you can use and it's totally free to help you seamlessly export timeline markers directly into YouTube's chapter link. It's gonna be really, really easy and I'm very excited to show you. So let's get right into the tutorial. So here's a prime example of where a big YouTube channel isn't providing YouTube chapter links for their audience. So someone like me has to watch this whole video, one hour of Elon Musk and Jack Dorsey talking about cryptocurrency along with Kathy Wood from ARK Invest. And I have to scroll through everything. Like it's just not a great experience. You can see no chapter links. So the people that created this video, they didn't, they didn't spend their time, they didn't save our time and they don't respect us as an audience. Here's a great example of what every long form YouTube video should have. With all these timestamps, I can easily navigate or skim the content. You really wanna engage with your audience to help them find the content that they truly need so that you don't waste their time. So don't be like ARK Invest, add chapter links to your videos and it's, your audience is really gonna appreciate it. So first, let's install the plugin. Now, the instructions you're about to see are gonna be for Windows, but this plugin should work for Mac OS. You're just gonna to have to copy the plugin to a slightly different folder path. Now, the first thing you wanna do is visit the link in the description of this video, and it'll lead you to the tutorial, the written tutorial of this, in case you don't wanna follow along the video. I'll click this link right here. So here is the plugin, I've downloaded it. I'm gonna right click and extract it to a folder. So as you can see in the step three of my instructions, you're gonna create, you're gonna copy that newly created folder that I did, had just shown into a folder called CEP extensions. So anyways, we'll copy our extension. So we can just copy or we can cut or paste it. And that's it. Once it's in the extensions folder, you can open up Adobe Premiere and then we can find the extension. So to find the extension, you're gonna click window, extensions, and then here you can find it, J syntax workflows, I'll click that. And then here you can see a dialog that shows some in, some buttons. This opens up the J syntax workflows extension. So I'm going to talk about the bottom section over here in a separate video. It's a really helpful workflow technique that I've been using a lot to speed up my uh, editing process, but I'm going to save it for a separate video. All you really care about is the button up here, copy markers to clipboard. So how exactly does that work? Well, anything that you put as a marker on your timeline, let's say I put it on a, right here and you click copy, it's gonna appear with that within a timeline marker so that you can copy it to your YouTube videos. The first thing you wanna do is set the first marker and it has to start at zero, zero, zero. If it doesn't, then the YouTube algorithm isn't gonna pick up your chapter links as um, the text of your chapter links as a chapter link. So you better start it with zero, zero, zero. So let's move the cursor to the beginning. And I'm gonna use my shortcut, which I binded to add markers, which makes it a lot faster to do. And you, you definitely want to do that because the alternative is to Right click, add marker, and then you get to double click this tiny little icon so that you can type in like, this is my chapter link and hit okay. So that was a very gruesome uh, process. You don't wanna make it that slow. So instead, I'm gonna, let me undo that. You wanna go into your keyboard shortcuts. And in my case, I binded it to, the, to my left hand on my left side of my keyboard to control Q. So control Q. And you can see add marker is Q. Now there's a strategy to, to actually assigning very common key bindings to your, to your left hand. Because you have your, your right hand typically on the mouse, you really want to keep everything on the kind of left side of the keyboard so it's very ergonomic and very easy to access with your left hand. So that's just one pro tip. Definitely use key bindings when you're doing this kind of work. So let's go. I'm going to hit control Q twice. Uh, the first is to add the marker to the timeline. And then the second is to actually put a name for that marker. And I also wanna make sure that you don't have any of these clips selected. Cause if you select the clip, what's, what's gonna happen is that the marker is actually gonna go onto the clip and you don't want that. You want it to be on the actual timeline. So let's go to the beginning. I'm gonna hit control Q twice. And I'm gonna say intro to Wi-Fi dead spot problem. And then what you can actually see is I've labeled segments of my video with different colors and these are just labels. And of course I use key bindings to do that because I don't recommend like right clicking this, going to, to label and then giving it a special color. Um, so I, I, I basically will select a section and that will help me later as I'm editing my A-roll to understand, okay, well, this is a change in subject. So I should check. Let me see what I'm so saying I've here. I'm running the Deco XC75. Not only that, yeah. So in this section, I talk about Wi-Fi 6E. So I'm just gonna hit Wi-Fi 6E. And then I know that this whole section is about what I've just talked about. 
So I, I don't need to I don't need to read it. I can just use my arrow keys to go to the next section. Now so I do I'll want to quickly mention that the order to speed, speed of the flip. Speed, speed, you do need devices that, that. So here maybe I talk about Wi-Fi backhaul and I just repeat the process. And I like using my up down keys just to seek through the clip really quickly. Uh, what's really nice is that everything is snapped. So my if I move my cursor, it's gonna snap to the specific um, timeline location, so the exact second. And trust me, having to do this in let's say Let's say you wanted to annotate your markers uh, in this video in YouTube and you want to, let's say, so like, okay, you start with like zero, zero intro. And then maybe you watch your video and you're like, oh, I talked about this. Okay, let me, let me, let me go back. Okay, I talked at zero, three, two. Okay, let me go to zero, three, two. And I, it's like some other subject. And that's a very cumbersome process. Like having to seek through a timeline and then understand what you're talking about. And you don't have all that snap features and labeling. It just makes the whole process of labeling, especially long videos, to be very gruesome and, and very difficult. So I, I definitely don't recommend it. I recommend using this, this plugin. Okay, so let's say you get to the end point. Um, let's say you've completely annotated everything. Everything has like a title. So what you wanna do is go to the plugin. So the final step is to click this magical button right here. So I click it and then boom, this is my all my annotated notes. Um, it, you'll notice that it's already copied to your clipboard. So you can see that in my clipboard, it's already here, but you can just always cop select this and copy paste it. And then we'll go into our video and we'll just simply paste it in there. And now you have all the chapter links. And this is what the final product looks like. You can see um, everything broken down into different topics. So let's say router versus access point mo mode. Uh, each node is a powerful standalone router. So if people are interested, your audience has the option to go to specific, uh, jump to specific segments of your video, different subjects, and this saves them a lot of time. And it's definitely a necessary thing. So I think with this new plugin that I've created, there's no more excuses to not annotate your video to provide chapter links for your audience. I think it's very essential and it's really gonna help drive engagement, retain your views, and ultimately deliver on more ad revenue. So anyways, that's all I have to say about this video. Definitely use key binding shortcuts to add markers use labels to categorize or to organize your footage so that you know where to go. Use the inbuilt timeline snap feature so that you can quickly get to the exact pinpoint location of where your, your topic changes. And then use my extension or use my, my plugin to copy all your timeline markers into your YouTube video so that your audience are a lot more happier. That's all I have to say. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section down below. I really would like to you know help anyone that's stuck with it if they have problems installing it. I'm here to help, so please let me know. I will be there monitoring the comments like a Hawkeye. The last thing I wanna say is that our sponsor is next coming up and it's all about TimeBolt. So definitely check it out if you wanna support this project and have it grow further. Check out the affiliate links at the bottom and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. We can probably agree that video editing is a very fun and creative process, but let's face it, there are some tasks that are just so menial, boring, and labor intensive that we wish we could just outsource it or just simply not do at all. And a lot of that has to deal with cutting out dead air or silences in your A-roll talking head. Now, thankfully, TimeBolt, which is a really cool piece of software that has recently come out, has made it really easy to cut out dead air in your footage. And this makes the whole process of creating video, creating content a lot more fun and more manageable, especially for one person. I've estimated the amount of hours I've saved using this piece of software and based on that, it has definitely paid for itself more than 10 times. So I definitely think it's worth it, especially for the lifetime membership. I will leave a link in the description. If you do use my coupon code, it definitely does help this channel. Thanks for your support, and I will see you in the next video.